Hello and welcome to round one of this year's UCI Track Champions League. The very best are here to tear up track racing. And it's the Balearic capital, Palma de Mallorca, that welcomes everybody to the Velodrome Ijas Baleares in beautiful Mallorca. And the bell's rung. 200 metres then to go as they go across that white line. 125, halfway down the back straight. Turn three passes by. There is turn four. De Rache coming through the centre. He has it. And Tom De Rache into the final. What a start to the Champions League for him. And it is Lavresne who's being forced to do the chasing here by Richardson. One lap to go, and the Romain still has that gap. Oh, we're about to see a big shot. Look at the acceleration, though. They're flying towards him. They zip around him. Turn three, turn four. It's Lavresen, Lavresen, and Lavresen going all the way to the final. Harry Lavresen won, Matthew Richardson nil. It certainly is, but they made him work for that. Wow. Confirmation of what will be the final. France, Netherlands, Derache, Lavresen. Derache, the experience up against the man with more rainbow stripes than we've had hot dinners. Lavresen's focus is fully on the Frenchman. It is Derache who's going to lead it out, but we know that Lavresen doesn't dislike this. If he can get in the slipstream here, put in the power, he will still be favourite. But it's the Frenchman who takes that bell lap. He goes through the 200 metre line as well, but here comes the flying Dutchman. And sailing past the competition and the world champion looking every little bit like it as he takes his first 20-point haul of this year's UCI Track Champions League. The game is on the way and it is the Welsh woman who's at the front as the bell rings. Mitchell, the Olympic champ, has a lot of work to do here. She's making her move now, trying to get onto the wheel of Cakewell, but it's Fanukan who is riding away with this, and Emma Fanukan has no competition. Into the final she goes, doing the rainbow bands justice, and the world champ has a real good chance of being the opening lead leader. Look at Bayona there, going through that gap. Dive down from top to bottom there. The bell's going to ring. Bayona has a bike length and a half here. Now, can she hang on? Pupster as the rider is getting closer. Going to halfway through the back straight, and Pupster now is half a bike length behind. If she has one more burst of pace, she might not get beyond the Colombian. She certainly can. And that's victory for Pupster, another new German sprint star, into the night's final. Three laps, rider against rider, and a chance to take the lead in the league. Approaching one and a half laps to go, and Finuka just going higher on the track here. Looks around, gets the view, can now dive down. Pick up the speed as she does going into the bell lap. But it's Pupster who has the lead. She has three bike lengths right now. Turns into two and a half. Make that two, but there's only half a lap to go. And it's Pupster who's still ahead. Finuka has it all to do, coming into the final straight. It's Pupster going all the way. Oh, and she's done it again. Germany with another sprint star. She's beaten the world champion. And the early league leader is Alessa Katriona Prupster. The first shock of the night. Yeah, this is it. Our final two events of the evening. The men's Karen and the women's Karen. Adi Lavresen is in pole position for that. Remember, he took the sprint win early on and 20 points today. Matthew Richardson trailing by nine points already. Yeah, you can see Richardson right at the very back. Love Raisin keep looking over his shoulder, trying to see where Richardson is, waiting, knowing that Richardson's going to make a move at some point, but wanting to be ready for it. Richardson thought about it then. He saw the quick reaction from Lavadesen and didn't go, but look at the world champion go. Kevin Quintero, a long, long way from the finish. The bell, though, will now ring. It's Lendl who's there. It's Quintero at the front. Lavresen's making his move. Richardson goes wherever he goes. Quintero's still there, but they're gaining. The stars are on him. Quintero in front, but here comes Lavresen. And Harry Lavresen bouncing back, arriving in Mallorca and grabbing back the league leader's jersey. He lost out last year, but he is right back for revenge. Lavresen 
with 20 points and another 20 on top of that. It's a 40-point night for the superstar. And this is the first look at the league standings. It's already a 10-point lead for Lavares and on Ash. He has 14 on Richardson. Quintero with 20 there after a poor sprint showing. But he's up into fifth. He misses next week. He's playing catch-up. Lavresen, the early leader, and a long way. And look at that, Ronaldo. Not used to being second at the bottom of the league, is he? Five laps then. It's Kieran time. The final event of the Super Launch here in Mallorca. Series three of the UCI Track Champions League. Nothing doing until 500 metres to go. Now we get Andrews, who is the world champion, making a move. Elise Andrews at the front of the rainbow bands by Jorna knows it's an important wheel to follow. She does follow it. Hoops to now up into third wheel. She's got a little bit of a gap to close to get in on the act as well, but Andrews isn't budging right now. By Jonna barging forward, bursting onto the back wheel of Andrews, but the world champion still stays there, going all the way to the line. And Elise Andrews, despite the challenge from Marta by Jonna, holds on, takes the win, honors the rainbow stripes, and as victorious in Balma. Alessa Katruna Probster leading the sprints. It's a short lead, isn't it? It's a narrow lead. Three points over Marta Bayona. Alice Andrews with a good debut as well, third. 